Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Running Sum of 1D Array. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Given an array nums, we define a running sum of an array as running sum of i equals the sum from nums of 0 to nums of i. Return the running sum of the entire input array nums. So example one, we have our input nums 1, 2, 3, 4, and we want to return an array of all the running sums. So the total from index 0 to our current index. So the first index would be index zero. So we'll just have the sum of one. Now at index one, we've seen two elements so far. So we want to sum both of them up together and we'll have three. Then over here, we want to have the sum of everything up until our current index. So one plus two plus three, which is six. And at our last index, we just want to sum up our entire input num. So that's just going to be 10. Example two, our input nums is all ones. So in the beginning, we're going to have one, then we're going to have two, then three, then four, and then finally five. And example three, we have three, then four, then six, 16, and 17. So how do we want to solve this? Well, if you've noticed, when we were doing our running sum count, we can just use previously calculated values for our next index. For instance, say we are looking at example one again, we know we want a running sum, so the total of everything up until our own index. In the beginning, we're just gonna have whatever we have at that very index, so we're just gonna have one, that's the only element we've seen so far. Now the next index, we want the total sum. So all we need to do is just see what's right before us. So we had a one before us, to that we're just gonna add a two and we're gonna get three. So now once we go to our next element, Instead of adding up everything we have before in our array plus our current element, all we need to do is add our current element to the number right before us. So we're going to have six. And this represents the total sum from index zero to our current index. Now, once we get to four, we already know the total sum of everything up until our own index. So we're just going to add four to that previous value that we have six, right? So four plus six would be 10. And this array would represent our running sum that we want to return, 1, 3, 6, 10. Now, instead of making a new array to do this, we can also actually just do this in place. So once we have that first one, we're going to leave that as is. We're not going to touch that first element. Once we go on to the second element, all we're going to do is add to our current element what we have before. So 2 plus 1 is going to be 3, and we can rewrite the 2. We don't have any need for anymore because all we're interested in is that previous sum. So once we get to our next index, we're just going to see what we had in our total up till now, which is stored in our previous index. So 3 plus 3 would be 6, and we're going to write 6 over here. And once we get to 4, all we need to do is just see what we have before us and add that in our current place. So 4 plus 6 would be 10. And we're going to return our newly modified input nums. So how would this look like coded up? Well, to code this up, we know we want to loop through our input nums and we want to start off from that first index over here, not index zero, because that's going to remain unchanged. So for i in range one to length of nums, what do we want to do at our current nums of i? So nums of i, we just want to take whatever we have there currently and add whatever we had in that previous index. So nums of i plus equals nums of i minus one. And once we're done looping through, all we need to do is return our nums. So let's go ahead and summit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity. For time, we are iterating through every single number in our input nums. So if we have n elements in our input nums, we're going to take n time, right? We're going through our loop that many times as the number of elements we have. So this is an O of n solution. And for space, we're only modifying our input array, we're not taking up any extra space. So this is going to be constant O of one. Now before leaving, let's just do a super quick walkthrough with an example, just so we know how our code is going to run line by line. Okay, say this was our input nums, I'm using example for you right over here. What we're going to do is range from one to length of nums. So I is going to start off at index one. Now what we want to do is nums of I, whatever we have here, to it, we're just going to add what we have in nums of I minus one. So i is index one, i minus one is index zero. What do we have in nums of zero? That's a three. We're just adding three to our current nums of i. So three plus one is gonna be four. And we go back in our for loop. So i is now index two and two nums of i, so whatever we have here, we're adding what we have in nums of i minus one.
whatever we have here. So this is going to become six. We go back in our loop. Index is now three nums of i plus equals nums of i minus one. So 10 plus six is 16. Going back in this loop one last time, we are at index four, nums of i plus equals nums of i minus one. So to one, we're adding 16, which puts us at 17. Now we can't go back in this loop again. We only go up until length of nums, not inclusive. We have a total of five elements, but it's not inclusive. So we can only go up to index four. So all we need to do is return nums and you can see it is exactly what we were expecting. So we just went ahead and solved running some of 1D array. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.